For many Republicans, Madison Cawthorn, a 25-year-old freshman member of Congress from North Carolina, is a rising star in his party. But dozens of Cawthorn's former classmates at Patrick Henry College say that he sexually harassed women on campus and is a potential threat. That's according to a report published last month by two BuzzFeed news journalists. Today, News Nation spoke with those reporters about their investigation into what Cawthorn's accusers call his predatory behavior. BuzzFeed News reporters spoke with more than three dozen people who allege Cawthorn sexually harassed women on the small conservative campus, including calling them derogatory names in public and kissing or touching them without their consent. And two women told BuzzFeed that Cawthorn had trapped them in his car while he drove recklessly and asked them about their sexual experiences. He was only in college a few years ago. Like, this was... When Trump was running for president, Madison Cawthorn was at Patrick Henry College. And I think that's a really important thing to remember because it's not like we're talking about allegations in college 25 years ago. We're talking about allegations in college four, four to five years ago. And I think that's one of the things that sort of um, makes this a, you know, made this something worth investigating for us. What a profound statement that is that members of a party, of his own party, and people who he went to school with who would probably want to be proud that their college was being represented at the national level were coming out in, in droves and putting their name publicly on a, on a letter that, that said, actually, like, we, this is not someone we want representing us. And that, that spoke volumes to us because, like, that's usually not something that people, you know, in small conservative um, Christian circles would would normally do. In a statement to News Nation, Cawthorn's press secretary, Micah Bach, responded, saying the voters of Western North Carolina responded to these allegations by giving Madison Cawthorn a 12-point victory over his opponent. Representative Cawthorn is now busy doing the work he was elected to do, including helping our economy recover from the pandemic, creating jobs and opportunity, making health care more affordable, protecting our natural environment, and defending life and our Second Amendment rights. Bach also referenced the congressman's defense during the 2020 campaign. I've never done anything sexually inappropriate in my life. If I have a daughter, I want her to grow up in a world where people know to explicitly ask before touching her. If I had a son, I want him to be able to grow up in a world where he would not be called a sexual predator for trying to kiss someone. The BuzzFeed report also included allegations that Bach had inappropriately touched a female student while she was sleeping after a party in 2016. Bach told News Nation the allegation is completely untrue. I think it's a valuable piece of this story, despite the fact that it's not specifically about Madison, but essentially that alleged abusers elevate alleged abusers. Um, it, it's, I think, valuable to understand who Micah is when Micah is the person out defending Madison. In February, North Carolina Republicans censured senior Senator Richard Burr for voting to convict President Trump in his second impeachment trial, but have remained silent on the growing allegations against Cawthorn and his staff. And I think what's really interesting about the Republican Party right now, I mean, it's very much grappling with its own identity and it has, you know, I think like a, it, it, it seems a fear of, going against the Trumpian stars that it's created and whose success it's fought they're fostering because they don't want to lose Trump's base. And News Nation has been in touch with one of those accusers who will be speaking to us on Monday here on News Nation Prime.